Well, dude, tonight we all want a smooth ride when we travel, but more and more passengers are reporting bumpy flights. We've told you about several recent instances of extreme turbulence in the skies. 10 Tampa Bay Verify anchor Joshua Dorowitz is looking into whether it's really increasing. As more people take their vacation, some say they are encountering more turbulence. So let's verify, is this actually happening? Our team sources are the Federal Aviation Administration, the National Transportation Safety Board, the National Weather Service, the UK Meteorological Office, and Shem Malmquist. He's an airline captain and instructor at Florida's Tech College of Aeronautics. Turbulence is caused by a change in air movement because of different weather conditions. And a study by the UK Met Office found the strongest category of turbulence increased by 55 percent between 1979 and 2020 and is likely to get worse in the decades ahead. Researchers, they blame climate change for making weather conditions more severe, which increases the likelihood of your flight encountering turbulence. We are seeing some more severe cases. Uh, and that really is an outcome of a warming planet. At the same time, the aviation industry is getting better at predicting it and being proactive at avoiding the worst of it when possible. NTSB data shows out of the millions of people who fly in the U.S. annually, an average of 12 people are injured by turbulence. If it's bad enough and you know we avoid that, that's fortunately even now very, very rare to encounter something like that. So yes, turbulence is increasing. Airlines, though, are taking steps to avoid it, but that is why you are told to stay buckled up even when the seatbelt sign turns off. With your Verify, I'm Josh Sidorowitz. All right, it's time to welcome.